scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. It is not all up to God and it is not all up to you. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. It shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command you this day. To do and observe all that I command you this day. That you shall be exalted above, um, you know, high above the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. Joshua 1 verse 8, this book of the law, it says, shall not depart from out of thy mouth. It says, but thou shalt meditate during day and night, that thou mayest observe to do, to do, to do, not just to say. Faith is not just saying what God has said. Faith is doing what he commands that is attached to the promised. For instance, the Bible says, there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty. Claiming the promises of God and claiming you are blessed without understanding the participatory role will only be you mocking yourself. Are we together? Every dimension of possibility we seek to transfer from the realm of the spirit has exact conditions. The assignment of the spirit of revelation is to open you up to the dimensions, the requisite level of obedience. You need to know what to do. Good master, when poor people came to Jesus, they said, help us. When wealthy people came, they said, good master, what should I do to be saved? They knew that it, it, there has to be responsibility attached. Good master, what should I do? There, there has to be a posture that I take. Are we blessed? Apostle, I desire restoration in my life. There is a provision restoration restoration in the bible has always been based on discerning the prophetic voice that you need to approach to speak to you it is the prophetic that controls restoration according to scripture your assignment is to locate the prophet sent not the prophet available the prophet sent there are words that are spoken there are words that are sent the word that delivers is the one sent he sent forth his word not spoke forth his word there were many widows in Zarephath, the Bible says. So Elijah passed some and greeted them and they greeted him back because he was not sent to them. He went to the one he was sent to. It is not just every available anointing that helps you. It is the one sent to you. Discerning it now is your own assignment. But when you do find it, then restoration can come. Alas, master, for it was borrowed. They met the right prophet. And he said, where fell it? He threw a stick and it came up. If they didn't have that miracle, they will write a theology that God cannot restore. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you so you will do what you do this season we need a move hallelujah listen to me i will share with you a 
story that I've not shared in many platforms. Many years ago, I was in this city. I dropped at number 23, Equerry Street. Nowhere to go, nobody to see. I stopped there with one bag and 800 naira. That was it. Your city. I face. When I was coming into this city yesterday, tears filled my eyes. When you see the end of faith, it is glory. Help him, please. Within a year, what God had done in my life is something I will reserve for another time. Please do not tell me it's because I don't know anybody. You are joking. I'm not speaking nonsense. I know what I'm saying. Somewhere in this city, the Lord gave me an instruction to give everything that I had. I carried everything. Put it in one bag. Dragged it. And dropped it in the church. And went back as though I was returning from a funeral. We are here for you. Come and We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts. Come and do what you do. Now listen, listen. Speaking is only one of the keys that activate faith believing is only one of the keys that activate faith god is showing you what you might be doing wrong please sit for a few minutes for many of us all we do is in the name of jesus i am rising i'm going from glory to glory wonderful you are not wrong but speaking is not the only key connected to the miracles that you desire Speaking is powerful, but the speaking is only activated when you satisfy the conditions. For instance, Apostle, there's nobody who wants to help me. There's nobody who wants to be my friend. No, and you begin to declare in the name of Jesus, good people are coming into my life. Wonderful, but that will remain as a confession. There is a condition for friends that he who desires friends must first show himself friendly it is your responsibility to master the laws of relationship and while you are studying heaven is marking your script that you are truly preparing yourself to meet a destiny helper it is your understanding the dynamics of relationship that is you are satisfying the participatory roles don't just confess and then a bad attitude drives a destiny helper. Recycles your pain for another four years. Believers, hear me. The Bible is able to make men wise even unto salvation. Because it opens us up to the responsibilities. Are we together now? Yes. Apostle, I want people to listen to me. I want people to love me, whether in business or ministry. There are many dynamics to it. It is not just the grace of God. The anointing is, look, let me tell you something. The anointing finds its credence from knowledge and intelligence. When, when the anointing comes upon, um, comes upon a life that is not enlightened, it will short circuit the potential of that anointing. The value of the anointing is when it comes upon an enlightened mind. Thou anointed my head, not my cup. The problem is not the cup. I want to see results in my cup, but what is anointed is my head. That's where the information is. So the anointing comes in partnership with the information that is on your head. And the result shows on your cup. So if you want him to anoint your cup, it doesn't work that way. The problem is not the cup. The cup is a report card. 
thou anointest my head with oil and then my cup shows what is on my head are we together so you must find out there is a law called the law of competence and that competence is like a magnet it is able to not just attract people but it gives you the luxury of selecting the kind of people so if you want to be able to deal you see miracles attract multitudes but it is wisdom that attracts kings so when you want to meet kings it takes more than being a miracle worker the queen of sheba was not moved by solomon's uh, all of the stories she was hearing because she had result herself the prophet said arise isaiah 60 and verse 1 shine for thy light is come amplified says arise from the depression and prostration that circumstances have kept you rise to a new light he says for your light is come and the glory of god is risen upon you he says for darkness shall cover the earth gross darkness the people but upon you the glory of the lord shall arise verse 3 says gentiles shall come to your light he didn't say kings will come to your light kings don't come to light they come to applicable you can take it out of this service and know i now know why a certain kind of people are not coming to my shop it's not just a demonic attack excellence is a language there are those who can speak it just like your language here so when you begin to speak that language you will hear a response from those who can speak it when you understand faith you will know that a major part of faith lies with the believer not God are we blessed so you make up your mind that I'm going to be competent as a minister in the name of Jesus I will be competent because I desire the nations to hear my voice God will not announce what does not look like him he will keep building you till you look like him there is there is a requisite level of spiritual competence that you must attain for him to blow you like a shofar to the nations it's not just saying i'm not just talking of excellence in the flesh alone a track record of diligence with the spirit i know god will do it it looks like it's a, it's a very comforting statement but it's not spiritual are we blessed so you must find out the conditions that are attached to the things that you desire I desire restoration there is a condition I desire kingdom wealth and prosperity there is a restore there is there is um what they call it there's a condition now the pandemic sadly has hit across the nations and many people are trusting God for increase many people are trusting God you need more than wealth you need favor that's what you need and the proof of favor sir is that your hands are never empty exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty so emptiness has an explanation when your hands are empty there is a, an exact spiritual law you are breaking that is responsible for that outcome Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, the B part. The Bible says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. I've always said it that when the grace for favor is on you, only a blind man ignores you. The Bible says favor works with the power of sight. That when it truly is upon you, anyone who looks upon you is compelled to bless you. But for many years we've been taught that favor is unmerited. It is only favor as it relates to salvation that is unmerited. Every other dimension is merited. Proverbs 13 and verse 15. The very definition of favor is why we don't get it. Good understanding does what? So understanding is a giver. And the name of what it gives is favor. Transgression is also a giver. The name of what it gives is hardship. Hardship has an exact explanation many things that we think are just have hazard are products of our violating or obeying spiritual laws you have to be meek enough to accept this in this morning service this is the key 
that activates the realm of the spirit so you leave this service taking responsibility knowing that this is not just god's fault i take responsibility why am i not seeing favor in my life the word says it should be why am i not seeing speed in my life the word says it should be then you insist and the spirit of grace comes to empower you to help you then your life becomes a living wonder and you are not just happy do you know there is a way you can have results you are afraid of it because you don't know how it came so you don't even know how it is kept God wants to bring you to a point where you are not afraid of your result because you know the ability to reproduce it is there are we together yes. so find out the conditions attached to every dimension of the kingdom you may be a pastor here and you are saying apostle i'm trusting god for increase in ministry there are exact spiritual laws that govern church growth it's not haphazard human beings are not animals they are intelligent beings there are exact conditions that must be kept number one for instance if i be lifted up from the earth there is a promise that i would draw men so when you keep lifting yourself you are fighting that law and you find out that men will not god is committed only to draw men when he is lifted number two john 4 48 except they see miraculous signs and wonders they will not believe people will not leave their homes and come for nothing i assure you human beings are busy whatever will make them dedicate three four five hours of their lives they they must be sure they will be transformed healed blessed enlightened applicable spiritual knowledge whose relevance they can see within their context here and now are we together yes we have a few minutes we are going to pray I don't mean to take you back sad memories forgive me if i do but during the recent protest unfortunately people boggled a lot of warehouses pastor there was no publicity there was no usher there was no protocol nobody even telling them where the address is hunger has an interesting way of giving people energy and passion when they found those things they went to any length what if you are that warehouse exactly what happened to that warehouse is what will happen to you all men will seek for you they will come from every nook and cranny whatever is in that warehouse if you transport it to yourself in the similitude of that passion they will come and they will wait they will inconvenience themselves people were not afraid whether camera picked them or not when people begin to pay attention to certain things it's a sign that that they, they have already concluded that some results cannot be gotten i prayed a prayer years ago i said lord do something upon my life for the sake of your glory may i never meet with someone twice for that person to, to be changed my condition for transformation is one encounter. If I have to meet you twice, I will go for a retreat. It's not pride, it's the truth. What if that is your last chance? It's called the law of value. There is what when you possess, only wealthy people seek you. There is what when you possess, only poor people seek you. There is what when you possess only your tribesmen seek you. There is what when you possess only a region will seek you. But like Jesus, when you possess certain qualities, all men will seek for you. This is what makes you Beulah and Hephzibah. You become a delight of nations. The law of faith. Is God challenging us this morning? Please let me challenge you. There are many of us, you need to go back and begin to walk on yourself you need to go back walk on your shop go back follow them who through faith and patience have obtained not are obtaining have obtained results love everybody but don't trust people who don't have results their opinions vacillate they are sincere but you need results are we together you need to go back 
you are a preacher trust God for grace Lord I believe your word concerning me that the nations would drink of the grace of God upon my life but now it's not the time to run around trusting God for invitations go back the way you announce yourself is to remain in the secret place so when he walks upon you you become a treasure you are a businessman trust God for grace you may need to take a few certifications you mean do not see what you are doing as a waste of time that is your participatory role do it with excellence you are activating faith you are partnering with the realm of the spirit you're a public speaker trust God for grace don't just speak anyhow and say it does not matter what then are you calling us for obtain grace sit down be strict on yourself don't pity your tears love your tomorrow more than your tears and whilst you do that the realm of the spirit is bearing witness to that which you do John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance we're going to pray are you blessed this morning God is not a man that he should lie he's a God of justice is true if you do that which should be done then I guarantee you the result is waiting for you there are people in this church for instance who have been serving faithfully and the devil may be lying to you what then is the benefit of service go back to the Bible and find out the lifting power of service that overnight God can lift a man Elisha had no business being a prophet he was a farmer the prophet should come from the school of prophets but one man's service and loyalty vetoed that list and created his own list until he became a prophet fear people who serve there is nothing they cannot become that whilst you are cleaning this in the morning shalakatosa lord you told me i will be lifted you do not know that there are witnesses the realm of the spirit nothing is hidden and while you are doing that God will carry someone's prayer point and give you as a gift as a reward for service hallelujah I desire the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon my life and when I read scripture the Bible says follow them who through faith and patience pastor I remember I was in Joss and I stood for six hours at the Reinhardt Bonke Crusade. I was already a preacher. I would have said I'm a preacher. I have revelation. What is this man even sharing? A simple story that will make you almost sleep. That kind of dishonor will drive the anointing from your life. I stood there for six hours like a madman. And I was watching him preach. And when I received the grace, I knew it came. We are going to pray. I hope and pray that this morning's service has opened you up to see that time never changes anything. Time only reveals. It is your decision out of a heart of faith. The revelation of who God is, his integrity and his ability. Your conviction that comes from that revelation then your obedience of faith this is what commits God to your life if this equation is not complete forget about the realm of the spirit bringing you possibilities but if and when this happens sit back and watch the way things will change to your own wonder this is the wow factor that is in the life of man ordinary men become supernatural when they engage the law of faith please listen apostle will i ever own a house of myself yes when the day you believe god and engage the principles apostle will i ever raise godly children yes when the day you believe god and you understand the bible said train up a child in the way he should go not the way you want him to go there is a way he should go your first assignment is to find out what way it is you see that Apostle, I've lost everything in my life. Can I have it back? Ah, the Bible says there is hope for a tree. There is hope for a tree. What then is the key? 
restoration is a ministry of the prophetic that means when your pastor stands to declare over you you don't just say ah my pastor no this is a man of god sends to me i receive of that which comes from him and it sustains the ability to activate realities in your life and we pray please rise up on your feet we are here for you come and do what to do we are here for you come and do Set our hearts, set our hearts on you. Come and do what you do. We see Listen. The Bible says in Mark chapter 4, we're praying now. Please give it to us. Mark 11 I meant to say from verse 23 Mark 11 23 we're praying verily verily I say unto you house on the rock Portacot whatsoever whosoever shall say to this mountain be thou removed and cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but believe that those things which he said shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he said. The law is in verse 24. Please look up. Therefore, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, then you shall have them. You can never have what you have not received. You see, listen the bible says the proof that you will have is when you receive it and that the instrument for reception in the spirit is prayer that when you pray knowing that god is a giver receive it and you will have it you will never have what you have not received we are praying now so that we will receive are you ready to receive lift your voice in the realm of the spirit and begin to pray I receive grace. I receive wisdom. Shalabakato sabrandakata. Someone is praying. In the name of Jesus, I receive. So that I may have. I receive. So that I may have. I receive wisdom. So that I may manifest wisdom. I receive so that I will have I receive so that I will have Hallelujah going to pray father take away all that attempts to make you look like you are not a god of integrity in my life i declare that i trust you someone prophesy i trust god i trust god lift your voice and speak to every lie speak to every lie in your business speak to every lie god i trust you in your spiritual work with god in your family i trust you you are dependable you are a god of integrity you are a god of ability you are a god of integrity you are a god of ability
Hallelujah. Isaiah 43 and verse 26. We are going to declare now. When it has to do with creation or transporting spiritual realities, your words are powerful. And we are going to be making declarations in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 43 and verse 26. It says, put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. It says, declare thou that ye might be justified. We are going to make some declarations in the name of Jesus. That you will take the word of God and put it on the lips of faith. Do not let the devil make you feel you are making noise. Whether it is over your business or your family. Is someone ready to speak? Open your mouth and begin to speak God's word. I decree and declare that I am the head and not the tail. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost that my path is as a shining light shining ever brighter please declare unto the perfect day i declare that gentiles come to my light they are kings to the brightness of my rising for my shame i receive double in the name of jesus where i have been deserted so that no man passed through me i become an eternal excellency a joy of many generations program your realities in the spirit a thousand shall fall by my right ten thousand by my right hand none shall harm me with my eyes shall i behold and see the reward of the wicked i decree and declare that i love righteousness and hate wickedness therefore god even my god hath anointed me with an oil of gladness above my fellows in the name of jesus the christ of god hallelujah hallelujah we have five more minutes and we're done exodus 3 21 the spirit of god is still taking me back to that scripture and the lord is saying that one of the things that most of us need here is the favor of god upon our lives read it together and we're going to pray this please i like you when it's time to pray don't don't worry about who is by at your left or right i like you to pray from the depth of your heart and I will give Joshua Selman favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that from today as I go I shall not go empty lift your voice and begin to prophesy as I go as I go as I go spiritually as I go financially I shall not go empty in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Shalanda kapras kaparuta shalakatos ebrakates sobari sasariata as I go spiritually as I go financially I shall not go empty my bands are full with corn with wine and oil The Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. And they said among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. It says, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Then it says, turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. We are going to pray. Now, listen, listen. This is the last prayer point and then I speak over your life. You are going to challenge every mountain that has stood before you listen you are a priest now don't be silent you're going to lift your voice are we together atmosphere now chains be Oh, 
challenges by name in the name of Jesus your power is broken over my life prayerlessness lack of resources disfavor someone is engaging the realm of the spirit change shift redirect reorder who are down mountain before Zerubbabel who are down mountain before Zerubbabel in the name of Jesus you become a plain land in the name of Jesus you become a plain land in the name of Jesus you become a plain land I call for peace. I call for power in the name of Jesus Christ. I call for speed. I call for restoration by the Spirit of the Christ. My faith is alive. I believe in Jesus. My eyes will behold the wonderful power of the Spirit. I want to speak over your life and I want you to believe it so that you will return back home knowing that I was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of God you don't find this in a bank you don't find this in a lecture hall there are things you only find in the house of God I decree and declare over your life in the name of Jesus Christ who is the Son of God every door that has refused to open over your destiny i come tonight by the anointing of the spirit i speak to that door be opened now be opened now please help them be opened now be opened now hear me I place an unction upon your head that from this morning service I declare carry on common grace wonder walking grace listen I don't know who has been experiencing delay in this place that the only thing growing in your life is your age every other thing has refused to grow but I stand here in the name of Jesus I declare to you receive speed 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 spiritually receive speed financially receive speed I accelerate your result by the power of the Holy Ghost anyone trusting God for a job here in the next three months I stand by the spirit of prophecy I speak to you in the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God return with your testimony return with your testimony hallelujah the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon I want to call the helpers of your destiny I prophesy to the north of Port Harcourt, the south of Port Harcourt, east and west, whoever must show up in your life and hold your hands to the next level, I compel them to appear in your destiny. Finally, let me speak over your finances. There is a bird that can bring bread for Elijah at Brook Cherries. Listen. There are three dimensions of wealth the first dimension of wealth has to do with transacting value are we together now you transact value and you receive rewards in exchange the second level has to do with the blessings that come from transforming lives you don't sell that value 
you give it free the rewards that come is the appreciation from the lives changed but the third dimension of wealth is called sovereign wealth wealth by prophecy that God is able to activate possibilities in the life of a man he says believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established he says believe in his prophets was it not the prophet that said by this time tomorrow I want to speak over someone's life in the name of Jesus the son of the living God before this year 2020 comes to an end I stand by the God who sent me and I speak over your life may your finances change in a way that will surprise you and I also pray for your spiritual life whatever has destroyed your prayer life your passion for the things of God in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your life fresh fire upon your life fresh hunger for the word fresh hunger for prayer fresh hunger for the house of God hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you